Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon Raptor Patrick, back at it again, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, this is it, you guys. Um, we are not ready to fully leave this base. However, this episode, we will be heading down into the Grand Reef to start building the new base. So, right now, we are going to be able to say goodbye to Daddy's base Gay for the last time. Um, I need to be able to get some of the stuff that I have had in the base as far as like building necessities go That way I don't have to go out and get all like the stuff in the moon pool again, etc. So we're gonna go out and do that before we die Alrighty then I thought I just died or something <laughs> Oh So obviously we got to take our quartz now with us yeah, and I might be able to move some of these guys into the the ship with me. Man, I just don't want to lose this yet. But we got to do what we got to do. So we're going to go out and just con deconstruct this. That way we have the equipment needed to rebuild it. Man. God, sorry guys. The frame rate is really bad. Also, I've noticed that there are black lines every time I record a video on this game. Yeah, I figured out why that is. It's mainly because the game is too high uh, quality. Um, I'm gonna just take all the stuff that I feel like I'm gonna need. I'm gonna take this with me as well. Man, go figure. This is the last time we're at Daddy's base. Gay I'm still gonna have the base here. I'm just taking a lot of the stuff that I could be using over there in the Grand Reef. But the base itself is still gonna be built and everything. Um, I'm kind of debating if I want to take the scanner room with me. What do you guys think? Yeah, should we just leave it here? Because, I mean, we still have the scan room. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Obviously, now we gotta get rid of this. So, we gotta take these with us now. Sorry, guys. Um, I will be taking the thing with me. Hold on. I gotta... I gotta put some stuff away that I won't be needing. I know I have a lot more titanium than I need. Hold on. Construct that. We need, we need that until we leave because once we leave then we can take that with us Because we have other stuff that we need to carry and we need the power in here So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Come on YouTube sub. Let's get it Welcome Don't worry you guys you guys will always have a specific area in which you guys are in my heart Damn it. I always forget how to build these things and don't get me wrong, guys, I will be starting to build lockers, or naming lockers. But first of all, you guys know, uh, have to put comments down as well to even get onto a locker. So, I didn't really get any comments on the last episode, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to drop some stuff off. So I can go get the stuff for the moon pool, so we can take that as well. Alright. You know, I can't believe that this is going to be the end. Um, I think I have a couple other things that I need to do before I head down into the Grand Reef, though, because I probably need to get all the stuff for the prawn suit. Okay, prawn suit. Okay, so I need plastic ingots, uh, aerogel, enameled glass, diamonds. I think I have two lead. I know I- okay, there's the two diamonds, so I have those. Um, I can probably make some plastic ingots while I'm over here. To the Grand Reef, I can go ahead and make Mr. Fish My Ass. Titanium ingot. Yeah, I think I only need one of those, yep. There we go, we got the plasteel now. Oh my god, Mr. Fist, my booty hole. You're gonna be right here. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, hold on, let me check my blueprints. Okay, so I need aerogel, I need enameled glass, lead, and... Okay, so I think I might have picked up one gel spore. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these over here for now. Um, I need the lead. I'm gonna just move all the stuff that I need over to the other side. That way I know what I have and what I don't. So, there we go. And I think I need... Okay, I need two arrows or arrow gels and one enameled glass. Okay. Um, I, I thought I picked up some arrow gel before. Um, I'm not... I don't remember if it actually did or not. But, I mean, it's worth trying, right? Alright, I'm gonna drink a water as well. We got, uh, glass right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the glass in here, and we need to go take my sea moth. And I think we're gonna go get the enameled glass part that we need, and then we'll take this YouTube sub and go get that last drawer spoil. 
And then we'll be good to go. Oh, darn. But first, let me repair you. Welcome aboard, Captain. I see that. Hey, you broke a tooth, you ninny. Stop being so gay. I know you're intimate. Get in. Joke's on you. Okay, I think I can make the enameled glass. Um, I might want to get an extra tooth just to be safe. Because, I mean, I don't want to keep going back and forth. Stalky. You broke a tooth, you ninny. I understand you have a feeding for me, bud. Okay, but by the way, guys, I want to let you guys know something. If you guys have ever, like, watched Subnautica and never played it, so and you think the game is really bad or whatever, you are, like, truly mistaken, my friends. <laughs> Like, this game is a really fun game to play. Thanks, Colonel Sage. I missed you, buddy. I haven't heard you in a long ass time. But I think I have the enameled glass, and after that, all I have to do is go get the spore sacks. Or the spore gels, or whatever. I think there are gel sacks or something like that. Either way, all I have to do is go get that, and then I can get the stuff for the moon pool that I need. Stop it, Stalky. Or Sandy. Whatever you're called, I don't want to date you. Okay, I think I have it. Wait, hold on, no, my glass is down here. Whoops, let me go get that. Yes, sir. Also, there's a thing that I'm gonna need eventually for the hatching enzymes, but I don't know how to get them. Okay, there we are. Okay, now we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick because, you know, you gotta save it manually. Okay, now the last bit I need. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get two things of aerogel. I have everything else that I need. And typically you find aerogel, you can find it down in the Grand Reef, or you can find it over there by the Aurora. Um, I, I feel like I want to go down in the Grand Reef because that's where I'm moving, typically. Also, I need to get the moon pool out of my base. Thanks, Jethane. Oxygen efficiency decreased. There it is. The deed is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here for some safekeeping. Well, this has been truly amazing to see where this base has gone, you know. And now we have to leave it because we have to go down deeper into the game. And it's finally time to do it. Um, we're kind of low on power, actually. Um, do I have any extra power cells on me? Um, I think we'll be fine. Let me just get a quick fill up. And, like, what I really need is a uh, power cell charger. But I can't afford that. <laughs> I'm too poor. Either way, I have more batteries. So I don't want to, like, waste too many batteries right away because I'm going to need them. Um, all right. I mean, here we go, guys. We are now leaving the surface of Subnautica. We have to go down to where the ghost leviathans, the crab squids, and the warpers lurk in the shadows. And it's going to be quite a, an adventure for a lot of you guys who are actually pretty in, well into the series. If you guys are just joining us in the series, I recommend that you guys go back through Season 3. Because, you know, Season 3 had a lot of stuff that happened, and I don't think you guys should have missed a lot of it. But, I mean, if you guys are new to the channel, um, happy to see you guys here. Um, maybe subscribe. But, you know, this is going to be the, a journey, because last time I went down in the Grand Reef, I never really went back. But now it's kind of a dire need that I need to be able to do, because I gotta move down. And also, I kind of want to pull up a map of the Grand Reef. Um, so, because that way I kind of know where I'm going as far as where the uh, Ghost Leviathan is. Because, I mean, that thing is a little, uh, is a little piece of crap. The Nautica map. But I'm happy to see that this channel has gone pretty well. Oops, sorry. 
I hate driving this thing through here. Uh, it, all this season has been dialing down to this moment. Because from this point forward, we are no longer going to be scratching just the surface of the game. We are going to be going from here on out into the Grand Reef, the depths of hell, in which the Ghost Leviathan lurks with his uh, third cousin, the Reaper Leviathan. And, if, and above all else, the Sea Dragon far below it. It's going to be a journey, you guys. And I hope to see you guys all the way through. This is an area that I am very unfamiliar with. But yeah, it should be in this area. Typically. Is this water? Warning, entering ecological death zone. Wait, hold on. Report to data bank. What? Oh, let me read this. What the hell? No, no, no. No! No. You little butthole? What the heck? What was that? Oh shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't know what the heck just attacked me, nor do I freaking care. It did a lot of damage though. Whatever it was. Well, I'm going back to my life pod real quick. I need to do some repair. Holy crap! I gotta get I gotta get somewhere safe so that way I can repair it. I have no lights or anything right now. Oh jeez. I think we're in a safe place. Moth, I need you. There's one. There's two. Seek fluid intake. Crater Edge, okay. Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. This data is consistent with the theory that that the aurora crashed on the edge of a 2 kilometer times 2 kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem with the crater to flourish. The, eco the ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and a leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. So what kind of leviathan attacked me? What the heck? Hold on, I- okay. Let's make sure that we don't do that again. Alright, I'm going completely diagonal. I'm going down southwest. So basically, where I'm going according to the right corner is I'm going down southwest. I think I need to just go straight that way. The, I can think I can see where the clouds line up. That should be where the island is at. This time, let's try not to be an idiot and get attacked. Let's actually make sure that we're maintaining fluctuating things. Okay, I think we're going the right way this time. Yeah, because it shouldn't be too far. It should just be like kind of right in line with the back engine of the Aurora. So like, I should be going more out this way, kind of deal. So it should be kind of in line with the Aurora's back engine, as I've said previously, and it should be going this 
particular direction. Or right now I can't see. I need to sleep. In the middle of the night, creature attack. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Biodiversity. Well, first of all, I need to get me some awa. But we're trying to figure out how to get down to the Grand Reef because we're trying to find the island. But I think I'm in generally the right area. Because I think I'm in the Sparse Reef. So I think I should be in generally the right area. Okay, yeah, we're heading that way. So it should kind of be right in between, like right in this specific area. Crater Edge. Shut up, Shaseed. Can't you see I'm trying to do something? Okay, well, I mean, I'm not like out of the vicinity of the freaking Aurora yet. But once that happens, I know I've gone too far. We should be monitoring that. Okay. So far, so good. I think we're going the right way now. Oh, it's right there. Ah! Aha! Should I wait for it to load a little bit? Aha. Wow, man. Okay, so we got to the freaking island. That's all that matters. Now, what we have to do from this point forward, I know that this video has been really long at this point, but we have reached the island. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around kind of toward the back side of it. I don't want to go too far though. Now I'm gonna just drop. But first, let me get some water. And I can't go lower than 300. Because otherwise my sea moss will blow up. So my limit is probably gonna be about 280. Uh, I'm gonna save again. Okay. I'm a little terrified. But never let that be a word of my mystery. Way small. Okay, this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna save until I get stuff. Buddy. I don't know if I'm ready for you. He is nearby. He is nearby. I know he is. Oh, Warper! Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Uh. No, stop! I need another freaking titanium. 30 seconds. Oh. I did it. I'm a save. Power restored. All primary systems online. Now that I have that. Okay, what do I what do I need to start up my my moon pool? Yeah, I just need that one piece of lead cuz I had to use one for the foundation. But I think I have one extra. Okay, I'll take that for now. Ooh. This is actually really freaking terrifying. I'm not even lying. This poor man right here is just gonna die. Oh yeah, I needed a wiring kit for something. 
Wait, where's my lead? I need another piece of lead. I thought I had more than one. Okay, I don't want to edit name. Yes, I do. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, what else did I need? I'll be obviously reinforcements. More titanium. And I think I had more over he here. No? Which one was it? That I had all that titanium in. There it is. Alright, let's do this. Hey, hey, hey. Move board, captain. All systems online. There we go. Draining systems initiated. Thirty seconds. Obviously, I'm going to need some lithium stuff. But I might start working more on this when I, um, in the next episode, or maybe I'll do it off camera. But I'm going to save now that I have this. Um, I need to put this in here. I need the titanium. Uh, I'm going to go and get my sleeve moth and put him in. I'm also going to move this. I'm gonna need it for now. All systems online. All right, there we go. Save as. Can I open this? What do you got in there for me? Bunch of acid mushrooms. I don't need that. I am going to end this episode of Subnautica here. We are going to be working more on the base offline or uh, stuff like that. But in the next episode, I am going to try to find the Degasi survivor base inside the Deep Ground Reef. We have kind of set up shop here. Um, we also need to make my prawn suit. Um, if you guys want to give me a different name for him this this time, or you guys want me to keep the name, uh, go ahead and go in the comment section below and tell me what you guys want me to name him, or if you guys want me to keep the same name. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to show your support by clawing the like button, and if you're new to the channel, fight that subscribe button like a champion. But as always, I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.